Syria brings them together, stakeholders and power brokers in a country now divided into areas of influence. Turkey, unlike Iran and Russia, doesn't support the Syrian government, but the three countries have enough common interests to continue cooperating through the so-called Astana process. The Kazakh capital has hosted many rounds of talks on Syria since the beginning of last year. The Astana process is meant to complement talks in Geneva, but the message from here was clear. A disregard for the UN-led peace process and any Western intervention in a final settlement. The ceasefire and the de-escalation zones were important steps to end the war in Syria. The Astana process is the successful international initiative to decrease tension in Syria. Astana is where the political situation to the crisis will be found. For now, agreeing on the parameters of post-war Syria is being decided on the ground. Turkey is leading a military operation against the YPG in the mainly Kurdish populated northeastern town of Afrin. And the Russian and Iranian governments are supporting the Syrian government's campaign to recapture the rebel-held enclave of eastern Ghouta near Damascus. The foreign minister's meeting will be followed by a summit in April that will be attended by the three countries' presidents. Turkey said it will host the meeting and said its aim will be to revive peace efforts. The last time the three leaders met was in November. At the time, they were discussing post-conflict Syria and announced a peace conference that was held in Sochi in late January. Since then, there has only been military escalation. The three countries may have their differences, but they share animosity towards the United States. Turkey's against the U.S.'s alliance with the Syrian Kurdish YPG armed group. The Russians and Iranians believe the American military presence in the Kurdish-controlled Northeast and its threats against the government are about increasing leverage. It's unacceptable. The U.S. threats to strike Damascus with false pretexts like the use of chemical weapons. We have told Washington we reject its threats to use force. Russian and Iranian support have changed the balance of power in the Syrian government's favor. But politically, there is no credible prospect of a settlement. There is an international power struggle, and negotiations are likely to continue on the battleground. Zana Khudr, Al Jazeera, Astana.